scent land, the land of scent. Hello and welcome, it's Chris here coming to you today from my Stone Age Hyundai accent. I love this car to bits, uh, it's like a friend to me at this stage. Never left me, never broke down, never cost me anything really. Uh, and you know, we share history together at this stage, okay? this much to the environment I'm coming to you from today and the reason is that I'm doing something that now I rarely do um, an unboxing and first impressions video of Cerruti 1881 signature now I love Cerruti uh, I have many many Cerruti fragrances in my collection and worn them since the 90s um, and they basically almost never ever disappointed because they always have some creativity to it and a great price versus quality ratio in general that goes back to the early Nino Cerruti from 1979 to the to the original 80, 80, 1881 um, from 1990 uh, the lessons version the, the Cerruti black version whatever you want you know lots of lots of great Nino Cerruti or Cerruti 1881 or indeed other lines of Cerruti as I mentioned lessons for example okay so today it's 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 one of the 1881 Cerruti 1881 line another flanker okay uh, signature and I've, I've read good things about this and I thought I want to really give this a shot okay and that's what exactly what we'll do so first of all the sound of you know opening the you know the uh, initial layer of don't we don't we love this song uh, this uh, this sound man I think at this stage is really perversion at this stage really okay box you know the usual fonts there um, and this is an eau de parfum 1881 signature I think you know uh, there's not many eau de parfum version, versions of the 1881 uh, out there and uh, this, is, this is the first one I meet actually so uh, I think this is just the intention here with this release must be somehow to create some sort of a flagship um, fragrance for the 1881 line apart from the classy uh, original 1881 from 1990 okay so so let's take a look at this beautiful okay it's black it could be mixed up with the with the black version you know there's the Cerruti uh, 1881 black from 2006 that has this fantastic marzipan note that I love to bits okay so the box is similar to that definitely let's open it up because I think that the bottle is not similar it, it does not have that the usual texture that uh, yeah exactly the ah it's interesting okay I get it so it's it's all you know just flat glass with this with the signature you know being written up there in front in, in 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 white letters okay and in the back it boasts the 1881 okay it looks actually bloody sexy and the shape of the bottle the general shape of the bottle as it is together with the, with the stopper here is the same as with the rest of the 1881 line so the the, the difference really is here that the you know the design of of, of the of the bottle itself the surface put it that way has changed okay um, information in the back okay let's see what the story is cap is a normal regular cap I don't really care much about it I have to be careful because I have some fragrance on so so let's see this one okay let's see uh, how it you know what it gives me first impressions okay of this um, yeah. isn't this also a perversion uh, um, immediately a fragrance came into my mind um, that I s somehow seem to recall in the peppery woody um, start of this but it has also some freshness to it I, I seem to get pepper definitely some woodiness some some freshness maybe it's grapefruit Oh, but definitely I get a fragrance here that I haven't smelled for a good while and it doesn't smell the same, but it does remind me most likely because of some some uh, notes that they share. I'm not sure, but 
it has some similarities but this is a bit this is definitely peppery woody um leathery also a bit spicy i think cardamom in here interestingly um fairly natural smelling okay it's it is it is fairly natural smelling um and uh it's really bloody nice it's fresh spicy i would say the category in, in regards of of category here uh and it's because the cardamom the pepper the wood a bit of grapefruit there and leather lingering in the background as as the fragrance develops now into, into its kind of third minute okay you at the beginning i get no letter at all afterwards now i in the background it seems to me like the, like a curtain in the background okay so very um very masculine um, it has a sort of a dark feel to it okay uh, but at the same time it's not sitting on your shoulder i can feel that it's sort of more sort of an uplifting uh feeling to this fragrance uh it definitely boosts your mood and, uh, and puts a smile on your face and the, the fragrance that I was reminded of was V Valentino Purom um, from like, I don't know, it was 2006 or seven. It has some sim uh, sim similar moods and vibes of that fragrance, but not as sweet. Luckily, there's barely any sweetness here. V by Valentino was very sweet, too sweet for me. Uh, this is better at least for my taste okay i will i will further further indulge in this uh I'll, I'll keep wearing it um to see how the projection is and the silage well the, i can already tell although i'm sitting in this closed environment no i won't tell now uh l let me let me uh use this outside inside in the office and so on and then tell you about it Ex exactly the same with the longevity here okay so i will come back to this but i wanted to you know to share this with you my dear friends and subscribers in order uh, for you to get an idea um, of this fragrance. And I'm going to be doing a second part, a full review of this fragrance. Okay, so this was Chris from Sandland with Ceruti 1881 Signature Unpacking and First Impressions. Okay, thanks very much and uh, see you soon with the full review. Bye-bye. <laughs>